Hello, welcome to your national weather update. It will be turning a little colder over the next few days, but nothing exceptional and still very mild out there this Tuesday. We're tucked between two weather fronts. This is called a warm sector, and that's where the mild air is currently sitting. But a cold front is approaching, and behind that we have colder air, and that will be steadily pushing across the country during Tuesday night and through Wednesday, introducing certainly a chillier feel for all of us by Wednesday afternoon. But it's not here yet, so let's get back to the rest of Tuesday. A lot of cloud around, but some breaks in the clouds, some sunshine for northeastern parts of Scotland, and some reasonably optimistic. We'll see a few more breaks developing further south, but generally just cloudy and dry, some drizzle around western coast and hills. And there's that weather front bringing some rain into the Western Isles by the end of the day. The wind's picking up here as well, but certainly for northeastern parts, the wind's a lot lighter today compared to yesterday. Now, it's not quite as mild out there today. It is still mild for February, but temperatures are not quite as high with a bit of sunshine. 14 is possible in northeast Scotland, but for most places, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 in parts of the east. So, as I say, still mild, just not quite as mild as yesterday. And certainly milder than it will be tomorrow, because here comes the cold front bringing rain to Northern Ireland, Western Scotland this evening, pushing in to Eastern Scotland, Northern England, Wales, and the southwest by dawn. Ahead of that, you could also see a few showers developing across the southeast, but much of Eastern England will be dry. And across Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, we'll see some clearer skies late in the night. Now, late on, that will allow temperatures to maybe drop down to two or three degrees. But for most places, again, another fairly mild night, sixes and sevens. But it will be turning colder and feeling colder during tomorrow. It's certainly going to be a grey, damp start for much of Northern England and the Midlands. And then these outbreaks of rain will just work into eastern areas where they kind of linger for most of the day. So it probably won't rain all day, but certainly dull and damp, rain coming and going. There'll be a few showers for Wales and southwest England, and certainly showers over northern Scotland and the north of Northern Ireland. And over the hills in northern Scotland, the air's colder, so we will see some snow, perhaps affecting some of the highest routes. But certainly at low levels, it'll be rain and through southern Scotland, northern England. Actually, many places here brightening up quite nicely with decent spells of sunshine. But the winds are now coming in from the north, so bringing that chillier feel. So it is going to be colder, but these temperatures are actually pretty close to average for the time of year. Obviously feeling quite a lot colder with the brisk wind developing across northern Scotland. Now, as we go through Wednesday evening, still some of this patchy rain lingering, taking its time to clear away. It could still be around for much of Thursday as well, but elsewhere, clearer skies, hint of blue there on the map, suggesting we are more likely to see a frost as we head into Thursday morning. But uh, a lot of dry weather to come through the rest of this week. If you want more details on the weather through this week, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch our deep dive, which will be up uh, by the end of Tuesday. Also, much more if you follow us on Twitter.